Central. Tell us why you're here, what you're doing here. I'm here because Monsanto is straight up evil. They're the biggest chemical company in the world, practically, along with uh, Dow, Bayer, BASF, Syngenta, and Pioneer. However, Monsanto is really uh, the devil, <laughs> realized in a corporation, if you will. And uh, they're responsible for the majority of genetically modified organisms in the world. Uh, here in Hawaii, we are the site of the most. Yeah, yeah. Getting some support. Yes, we are. Because they have been kicked out of 30 countries. And they're doing the majority of their experimental open air field trials here in paradise, in Hawaii. So you're talking right here, that right here there are poison. They're guts. This is all poison land. This is all poison land. You couldn't even grow real food on it if you wanted to at this point. You would actually have to cleanse the land of the GMOs for at least four or five years. Well, there's a subdivision right across the street there. I, mean, I know. What? They're spraying all these pesticides on these people. They're engineering the food to require the heavy use of pesticides. They've been kicked out of 30 countries, dude. They're poisoning us. Get up. Get up. They're poisoning us, Papi Chulo. <laughs> you know, you got to, like, get people fired up. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> Um, Thank you so They're much. poisoning us! So, um, so tell us, there's something coming up on December 5th. What uh, what can people do uh, to try and help? December 5th, okay, if you want to keep on top of it, you should definitely tune in to Babes Against Biotech. That's our <laughs> nonprofit. Okay. We do GMO education um, and, you know, help get Monsanto the heck out of everywhere. <laughs> it would be great. So uh, on December 5th, we'll be at the Honolulu City Council. That's going to be, um, let's see, actually at 9 a.m. we're going to be presenting honorary certificates to some GMO educators. So oh, neat. Okay, that's at 9 a.m. Yeah, we need people to come and say, okay, I can either stay for the morning, the afternoon, or the night. Because we need to be prepared for any kind of shady right. tricks they might pull. Right, like absolutely. Moving 12, 319 on the agenda. Oh, right. we're going to put this out of line here and do it now when all your right. testifiers aren't here. Et cetera. Right. So we're going to be testifying for GMO labeling. Councilman Tom Berg will be introducing an FD1, 12-319 FD1, that means a floor draft, uh, to restore GMO labeling statewide to the HSAC package. Now that's the Honolulu Statewide Association of Counties, and every year they put together a legislative package that's submitted to the Speaker of the House and the President of the Senate, uh, and they have to unanimously agree on any measure that's in that package in order to submit it. Well, every other county in Oahu, thank you, Hawaii County and Hawaii County and Maui County for being Pono. Thank you, council members on every other island. Thank you. We really appreciate that you actually care about people. Here on Oahu, uh, let's see, with Joey Manahan on the city council now, it's about uh, over $30,000 that has been poured into the campaign funds of our council members by GMO companies and their registered lobbyists. So they decided to just slip out the mandatory GMO labeling out of the Honolulu package, like I said, not even discuss it, not wow. even vote on it. They slipped that out, and they slipped out the other thing that got unanimous support, which is the repeal of Act 55 to abolish the Public Land Development Corporation, PLDC, that's selling off public land. They're all in collusion together. It's probably not long until Monsanto owns some land here. Uh, and actually, Kamehameha Schools evict Monsanto. What are you doing? This is supposed to be taking care of the Hawaiians. I'm not even Hawaiian, I'm offended, okay? I'm adopted by Hawaiians, thank God in heaven almighty. I'm Cuban, so I'm pissed. <laughs> I don't like being poisoned and treated like a lab rat against my consent. Now, if you're gonna pay me to be a lab rat, you know, I still would say no. But um, at least give me that option and label GMOs. Okay. And ban them, as a matter of fact. Now, you're going to be there on uh, December 5th, so if people want to talk to you, they can show up at uh, Honolulu Holly. They Hale. should. They should show up at Honolulu Holly. Who should come? I should, can, can you bring your kids and stuff like yes, that? Yes, please bring your children. Please bring your children, bring your grandmothers, bring everyone you know, bring your organic farmers, bring your doctors, uh, bring uh, all your organic associations, and anyone who doesn't want to be poisoned or experimented on by chemical companies um, who actually, Monsanto, this company, was sued by their hometown, okay? Biggest lawsuit in the history of the United That's States. Right. They all got cancer. They were, they contaminate land. They contaminate sea, they contaminate agriculture, they contaminate food, they contaminate groundwater, they kill bacteria in the soil, they engineer pesticides into the food, so you're actually eating pesticides. You can't wash it off. They can't wash it off. 
So December 5th, they should call uh, Councilman Berg's office at 768-5001, okay. 768-5001. Um, to stay abreast, you should definitely go to Facebook dot com slash babes against biotech okay uh, facebook.com slash babes against biotech as in biotechnology right. this is what these fools are doing they're engineering life they, they think oh i'm gonna go in a lab i'm gonna make this stuff so that uh if you want to grow food you have to buy tons of chemicals which is great because i sell the chemicals so it's a it's a closed loop They've been kicked out of 30 countries. GMO labeling is required in 61 countries. Uh, but unfortunately, our FDA, our USDA, and our EPA are all littered with uh, biotech executives that used to work for Monsanto. Michael Taylor used to work for Monsanto. Clarence Thomas, a Supreme Court Justice. He was a Monsanto attorney. I mean, they're everywhere. Obama said, I'm gonna label GMOs to get into office the first time. And he got into office and he appointed Michael Taylor and uh, Bill Sack, our Secretary of Agriculture and Biotech Legislator of the Year. The good news is um, that Calvin Say has been ousted, mahalo, universe. <laughs> Unfortunately, Joe Suki is now in his place, who is paid by Petrochemicals. Yeah. So uh, he's a big fan of plastic, but maybe the chemical plastic can beat the chemical GMO. <laughs> Is that like rock, paper, scissors, you know? Evil plastic beats evil genetic mutations. These guys are nuts. They really don't care. And by the way, um, Babes Against Biotech, we do our best to uh, research and know we do not date GMO eaters. Ew. Ew. Uh, that's important to know. Yeah, I don't want to make out with someone who's been eating transgenic corn. <laughs> Oh that yeah! Is a, oh yeah! Let's totally do it with some uh, BT pesticide all up in there. That sounds great. No, no, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Thank.